Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Yeah, this is your boy Daddy Easy here. I apologize, Bray Hacker, otherwise known as only use me Tomahawks. Some of you guys may know me as Easy, like I always say, to the black, to the blue, my avatar on my YouTube channel. Yeah, buddy. So, as you can see right now, I've taken a big hiatus from multiplayer gameplays, gaming, and stuff like that. It's just I'm fed up, I'm done with it, um, I'm frustrated with it. Um, I'm just plain tired of freaking FPS game, um, multiplayer games. I'm just, I'm just in, in total just tired of playing it. And the reason for it is due towards all the fucking cheaters, due towards all the hackers. Um, now that fucking Call of Duty is going to freaking Game Pass, now it opens up a big ass thing of now I have to deal with more cheaters more hackers more rever on uh, reverse boosters why because now since call of duty is going towards game pass it opens up this window for all these cheaters and hackers to now infest the game with a bunch of fucking bullshit and you're probably sitting up here like oh see now you're only doing this because you don't like xbox let me let me tell you this let me let me tell you this all right I don't know how many times I gotta say this. I don't know how many times I gotta keep repeating myself. But I was an Xbox dude. I was never really a PlayStation dude. I was never a pony. I've always loved Xbox. When the fucking Xbox 360 came out, I was one of the first people to cop that shit with the bum bundle and get Gears of War. I remember when. I traded in um I traded in some stuff, trading in a fucking keyboard at a pawn shop, cause they had an Xbox 360 there brand new with the I think it came with Gears of War or I think it was um I think it came with on um, Gears or I think I just purchased it separately. But I got the special bundle that had the steel case for um gears, right? I brought that shit, I was loving it. I used to argue with my friends, yo. Xbox 360 is better than PlayStation. What they sat up there and kept talking about, yo, we got the free service, man. Xbox is trash. Yo, I was, I was bleeding green. I was on that front line with everybody else. Y'all know how many Xboxes I had? How many Xbox 360s I had? Y'all know how many I had? Go back and watch my videos. Go back to all my videos. You see that I've always brought everything for the Xbox, and I barely brought stuff for the PlayStation 3 at all but one thing i do have to say is even though and and, and and here's the funny thing i used to say how much i hate playstation but here's the thing as much as i didn't want a playstation 3 i came to the point i really wanted one at the time i was like ah oh, i want to i want a playstation 3 i want a playstation right i finally got to a point um that i actually got it i did an unboxing this is when i was back in um new york um, it was like 2009, like, yeah, around 2008, 2009, um, when I got my PS3, right? I had that same PlayStation 3 for years, right? Then what I did was, when I got tired with that PlayStation 3, I got a slim version because um, the regular PS3 was just too bulky and it was just heavy to carry around. I still got a PS3. I got a PS3 sitting literally right here to play my game so when i want to go back and play call of duty modern warfare 2 the og and modern warfare 3 the og or Mo call of duty 4 modern warfare guess what i can go back and play it for free on the ps3 without have to worry about um buying a playstation on um, plus account i can still do that on the ps3 I can't do that on a 360. Why? Because I have to have Game Pass. I mean, I'm sorry. I have yeah, I have to have Game Pass, and I have to have Xbox Live Gold just to play the games on the 360. I currently don't even have a 360 right now, and the reason why I sold on my 360s because the 360s was just so fucking bad to the point where I had to buy multiple of them because I kept either getting the red ring or the door wasn't working. Or it just kept having so many problems overheating and cutting off then went and load the disc and the door went and open up or when you turn the shit on you hear that 
great sound and it just didn't want to load nothing yeah that's pretty much what i dealt with the entire time with xbox i've never had the problem with playstation i had two ps3s and that was it the ps3 fat and the ps3 slim right i got a ps4 right guess how many of those i had one then a ps4 pro came out guess how many of those i had one so for the entire PlayStation life cycle, I've only had two of each consoles, which was either the Fat and the Slim or Pro and the Slim. Basically like that, right? Xbox, how many Xboxes did I have? I brought my first Xbox. Um, let's go back to the Xbox series, Xbox series, right? I brought an Xbox One. Guess how many of those I had? About four, right? I kept having problems with artifacting and all that crap like that and all that bad crap, right? So I wound up going back and getting the GameStop edition, which was, I believe it was the Xbox uh, One S. I brought a One S, right? Even though I had an Xbox One. So I brought the One S because they kept saying 4K, 4K 60, 4K 60, which they kept lying and lying and lying and lying, right? I brought that shit, kept that. Then they said the Xbox Series, um, the Xbox One X was coming out. I guess how many of those I brought? I had to buy like four or five of those. Why? And I showed videos of it. I got it. I had artifacting. I got it. It didn't look good. I got it. The game started. And these are brand new consoles that I got from GameStop and had to return them every time. You know what I started doing? I just stopped using it. You want to know why? Because you Xbox fanboys, y'all just love dick sucking and gobbling every nut that they freaking put at y'all because y'all believe everything that Microsoft does and say. And here's the problem why I have with you guys. After I started having those problems with my Xbox and started doing it and seeing that they started removing features and lying about graphics and lying about the games. This is how I realized and I opened up my freaking my, my eyes when I said this multiple times in videos. How I realized that Xbox was trash is when it came time for me to buy an Xbox for my kids. My son wanted an Xbox 360. I brought him the 360 and guess what happened after I realized it? I was like, hold up. I just bought this boy an Xbox 360. Now I got to spend, what, $60 at the time for a one year subscription of Xbox Go just so he can play online, play games. When I could have brought him a PlayStation 3, don't have to pay for no subscription, and he get to play every game he wants for free, whatever he buys. Or if I want to give him the subscription, of on um, PlayStation Plus, he get games every month that he can keep in his library and keep on that PlayStation. Wow. That's what made me freaking open my, my eyes. And that's when I started hating Xbox. Even though, even guys right now, even though I got a PS5, um, I got a PS5, I got an Xbox Series S, right? I still wanted an Xbox. Why? Because I liked Xbox, but Microsoft kept lying and lying and lying and lying and lying and it just keeps going and lying and lying. The only people that still with Microsoft right now in the Xbox community is the fucking dick suckers. The ones that that was willing to bend over and let Diddy pound them like Meek Mill did. That's what y'all that's what y'all like. That's y'all like y'all 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 enjoy it. Y'all love getting on your knees and taking the dick down your throat. Y'all love getting hit with the pound town. Y'all love ditties, which is big fills on freak parties. You guys love that, right? Y'all do anything. They remove so many features from you guys. You guys don't care. Now they even came out with this whole, this whole crap with um the strike situation that you can actually get your account strike. So here's the thing. So Call of Duty, um, uh, Microsoft owns COD, right? They own it, right? So guess what happens if you break those rules, right? Or if you get a ban, that means your account get banned. And I say this multiple times in tweets, and I say these on people's on YouTube channels in the comments. Guess what happens if you get banned? You lose access to your gamer tag. You lose access to your console, which they will console ban you. So a console ban, if you get banned on Call of Duty, which I even put it and you can look that up for yourself. If you get banned in Call of Duty, right? 
if you get banned in Call of Duty on Xbox, right? This is for Xbox players only. This doesn't refer to um PlayStation people. This don't refer to um PC people. This specifically refers to Xbox gamers. If you get banned on Xbox on Call of Duty on the Xbox only, you will lose access to your gamer tag. You'll lose access to your account. You will get permanent ban and you will get console ban keyword console ban so that five hundred dollars that you spent on a console will be console ban and it's in their notes if you go to microsoft and just go to google.com and just type in microsoft new um ban policy or um call of duty ban policy and read through it and it'll tell you directly right there that they can suspend and terminate and it is a clear letter saying terminate and cancel your console, meaning they can console ban you. Console. Do you know what console ban is? It's like basically being IP banned. That's basically what's happening. But you guys, you Xbox dudes accept that, right? And the whole thing that I said about the whole cheating crap, and I'm going to say this real quick before this video is over. The reason why I said this, because now instead of a cheater, when they get banned or permit banned or temp banned or shadow banned, whatever. They have to spend another seventy dollars, whatever, to own um, get into the game, right? Now that they have Game Pass, they only have to pay fourteen ninety nine, create as many accounts that they want, and don't have to worry about being if they get banned, they can just make another account. So and the whole point is, like I said earlier, with the console ban, if they get a a a, a shadow ban, they just make another account, right? So it gives them more access to continue cheating and making these videos of what they have on youtube right now and that's the whole point why game pass caught on game pass is it, it, it shouldn't even be done and i'm guaranteeing to you come this new call of duty black ops game black ops 6 whatever you want to see a big fall because a lot of playstation players is not going to play including myself i'm a pc player um i also play on playstation but i don't think i'm gonna be playing buying um black ops 6 and i'm just being straight truthful with you guys and that's all i gotta really say as you can see i'm playing red dead redemption 2 on pc because i'm tired of the 30 frames per second crap like you xbox dudes like on consoles it's just trash all right i'm just gonna say it consoles for people that can't afford gaming systems like pcs and stuff i said what i said nice sorry tucked away. but not sorry okay all right, it's your boy Daddy Easy here. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, become part of the DY Easy Gang Gang, and I will catch you guys in my next video, which is going to be most likely probably playing Call of Duty. I don't know. All right, I'm going to catch you guys later. That's it, and I'm out. Deuces on holla.